it's a cruel game at times. We did everything we needed to do, but ultimately it wasn't enough. What were your thoughts? No, I thought um, on the game, I thought first half, I thought we we looked like we'd played Thursday night, um, 150 odd mile away, 170 odd mile away. Um, and we needed to change it, which we did. Um, I thought we invited too much, too much on ourselves from Ratcliffe's point of view after the first ten minutes. Um, and then, <clears throat> you know, I think it's a poor goal. We concede. We allow the ball to be crossed over too easily, and then we've got two against one on the back post, which we don't deal with. Um, which obviously is is disappointing. It shouldn't happen. Um, but then we made a couple of changes at half time, changed the shape a little bit and really took it to them. And since I've come in, the one thing that's happened is the lads have gave everything. You know, I think we've had nine games, we've took um, 14 points. And, you know, that type of form isn't isn't the sort of form you associate with this side that's gonna go down, but what's what's gone on before, obviously I can't, I can't control, I can only influence what's in front of us. And that's, that's what I said to the lads, we can only influence what we do. Um, We've beat a side that's being fancied, um, that's been well backed. That have got a lot of experienced players and a lot of quality, um, and we've we've beat them and deservedly so. Especially the second half, the spirit, the determination that the lads have shown, you know, quality at times, which was massively lacking in the first half, was there. Um, and and s since I've come in, I couldn't have asked for any more from from every single one of them. And um, you know, it's. Like you say, it's a, it's a cruel game at times, but um, ultimately, over the course of the season, as a club, we haven't been good enough. Um, but you know, this club's, uh, you know, it's a great club, and we'll come back. When you look at your spell, there's been wins against you know playoff teams, Radcliffe, Marine, Gainsborough, and then maybe some less good results against the teams that we perhaps should have beaten. Would that be fair? Um, well, we've. We've lost to Bamba Bridge, South Shields, and um, Hyde. Are they all in? Are they all up there? No, I'm in draws against some some of them. Yeah, we've we've dropped points to Stafford here, um, which was obviously the one you're probably alluding to. Um, mask away on a Thursday night. It, any any time of the season is a good point, um, but the situation we're in, it's obviously not. Um, well, probably the one you're looking at is the Stafford one, but at the same time, they've just beat South Shields today, and they're unbeaten in what, 10, 11, 12 games. So I've said it before: there's never an easy one, um, and there's never one you can predict. Um, so, listen, this club, from what I've known from a distance, has always been a club that prides themselves on doing things the right way, um, dealing with people the correct way. Um, unlike an experience I had at a previous club, um, this this club will will always be a good club because the people around it and the people that are within the club, um, and you know, I'm going to be working hard over the summer now to put a side together to make us competitive, obviously in the league below, and to make sure that what's gone on this season is um, quickly forgotten about. Um, but obviously used as an experience to galvanise us and to, and to push us on. Yeah, that was going to be my last question, because you've got a good idea of the squad and the makeup of the squad. Do you have a clear idea of what's needed now for summer in terms of the Yeah, obviously, obviously you always have an idea of what you want to do. Getting it isn't always, you know, the, the easy easy way to, to do things. You know, signing players, especially, you know, you, you're going down to a different level. Um, lads who you want who've got ambition will want to stay as high as they can and play as high as they can but no we've we've got a plan and um, we'll we'll bring in the right type of player to suit this club and the right type of player to suit how we want to do things um, but with every single one of them in the dressing room there since day one since I've come in every one of them can be proud of how they've performed and worked for me sometimes they haven't played the best but one thing you can never deny from any of them is that they haven't given everything they've got. And um, I thought that was epitomised today.